So the focus of our uh, clinical uh, breast cancer research the last uh, four years or so uh, has been on um, hormone-responsive breast cancer and finding uh, ways to improve hormone responsiveness and prevent resistance. About 70% of breast cancers uh, feed off of uh, estrogen. Uh, so they are estrogen receptor uh, uh, dependent. And that's what uh, hormone therapy does, also called anti-estrogen therapy or uh, endocrine therapy. It blocks the estrogen receptor. But it works for only a certain period of time. And after a while, the cancer will find a way around the estrogen receptor using survival pathways that have nothing to do with that. And uh, one of the key pathways is uh, one that's called the AKT mTOR pathway. It's very common in ER positive breast cancer. And basically what we did in this study is combine a blocker of the estrogen receptor called fulvestrant, which is uh, an anti-estrogen, to block the estrogen receptor, but at the same time, combine it with everolimus, which is actually recently FDA approved for breast cancer, to inhibit mTOR and together keep the cancer down for longer and prevent resistance. So the pill will prevent resistance to fulvestrant. And uh, we are going to present the data from this study at the Marquis Research Day and what this will lead to, what this means for the uh, next generation of clinical trials and for the next uh, uh, treatment uh, algorithms, algorithms for patients uh, with metastatic disease and how we can uh, change uh, the way we treat this kind of breast cancer. Uh, what we need to do next, what the future direction is, it's very, very important. And that's no less important than uh, disseminating this uh, data uh, and this information through national forums, for example, or going to another institution to present about uh, this kind of research because it is high impact, it's very important, and it's also very important for within the Marquis Cancer Center uh, uh, group that uh, we uh, understand the value and what to go, where to go next uh, and how to build teams around those themes.